All right, let's get this started. All right, everybody. Your camera's off, uh, Tice. That's better. All right, you guys can all unmute, but not. All right, so we're playing Everybody Is John today, and the winner will get some kind of bonus on the next RP we play. And our starting location is going to be the railroad. Really just started this RPG or you can use some railroad? Yep. I think that's on the right track. Maybe it's on the wrong track in the wrong neighborhood. It has a very nice track. <laughs> <laughs> the puns are going off the rails. Camp. All right, now everybody has their willpower, right? Willpower. No. No. I need that. Willpower is just a uh, number. I believe it's eight. I think it's uh, ten. No, it's ten. Ten. It's, 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 it's lower if you do like an extra thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's seven if you get another trade. Or skill limit. So you guys each have ten willpower. So what you'll do now is you'll bid willpower. And whoever bids the most gets control of John. Uh, how do you do this with, like, secretly? Because... Um... Do a Skype message to me. Uh, well, hold up. Uh, you know how to do a whisper on Twitch? That's slash probably the, Yeah, uh, slash w, w slash or slash W. Slash W. Slash W and then my name and then. Yep, I got gamer sirens. I got monkeys. Yeah. Got cottons. Wait, what would happen if I just bid like ten? If you bid what? You bid all ten. I got Tice and Rigas. Uh, you would spend all. You would lose all ten because you're probably the way. Yeah. There's no way to go. That's the game. Yep. Every time you fall asleep, you get one back. Oh, okay. But you can bid as many as you want. But whenever you bid them, if you win, you you spend those. If you lose, do you not spend them? Right. You only spend them if you win. If you lose, you don't spend any. So, so then, I've got a number from... Monkey. Got one from Cotton. Riga, Tice. Alright, so Cotton gets control. And Cotton is the way. <laughs> wow, Cotton's rolling big. Cotton, um, you're saying we've got maybe 10 in the willpower. Go. What? Yeah. Yeah, if you win the first one, if you win it, you have to spend all that. Wait, did I win it? Yep. Yes, sir. Oh, I don't think I bet that much. Alright, what do we do? Well, you find yourself waking up on the railroad tracks. And I mean, literally, you're on the railroad tracks across them, and your neck hurts a little bit because it was against the rail. I'm immediately going to get off of the railroad tracks. That sounds like a horrible idea to stand on. Alright. And can I see any towns nearby? 
Um, you see a little bit of a clearing up in front of you. And uh, it looks like it uh, has a road going across it. I'm going to go towards that clearing then. Alright, you make your way up there. And, uh, hold on a second. And as you get up there, you see all kinds of traffic and everything. And uh, you see um, a medium-sized city. And uh, you happen to see a uh, poster that is... Uh, mm, A poster looking for uh, stunt doubles. Where's the stunt location for that? It's in another okay. city. Oh, come on. I, um. So it's like 15 miles from here. Okay, I'm gonna look for a bus stop and see if the bus goes all the way to the other city. You find a bus stop, and uh, as the bus pulls up, you see an advertisement on it that uh, says uh, it's for uh, dentures. Okay. Be nice shiny dentures. Gonna get on the bus and ask them if they can take me to the other city. All right, you get on the bus. They they want a ticket or money to put in there. Do I have any money? You you don't know. I'm gonna look for some money. You have none. Anyways. All right. Which direction was the other city in? Uh, it showed you a direction, which was uh what you can think of is east of uh, the city that you're currently in. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get off the bus and I'm going to start walking, walking, walking east. But the whole time I'm walking, I'm going to look for loose change. Alright, you find a penny. Well, good. How much did the bus cost? Two dollars. Alright. I'm on my way. You find uh, actually a crowd. They're they're standing around a TV that's on in a window of a uh, shop. What are you playing on the TV? It's an advertisement for a circus. And it. Where's the circus? The circus is actually. Um, make me a roll. Did you roll yet? I can't. It doesn't sit on me there. Never mind. I got it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Wow. Alright, you find that it's actually right behind you. All right, you you walk up to it and they are warning tickets. Oh come on! To get in, but they're not uh, opening right now. They're they're in the setup process, so they're not actually you know they're just selling tickets and whatnot. But they're not the circus is not open at the moment. I'm gonna ask them if I can speak to the church. 
All right, they bring a manager out there. Can I help you? Yeah, I was looking to get a job here, actually. You're a performer? I am indeed. Have you ever worked in a circus before? Um, I, I don't think so. You don't think so? I mean, possibly. Who knows if it's a crazy world, right? Right, right. So, uh, would you like to give us a demonstration of your skills? Sure. All right, then come with me. And he takes you back to the back, into the circus tent. And uh, what, what would you like to uh, attempt? Um, do they have a tightrope? Yes, they do. Tight rope. All right. He shows you the way up and uh, gives you all the equipment and whatnot that you need. All right. Seven plus ten. So you're up there, and uh, you're you're a bit shaky, but you just keep on going slowly, and you you slip almost you slip at the end, but you catch yourself, and you pull yourself back up and make it across finally. What does he think? That was a that was a bit of slippery slippery uh attempt there. Is that the uh the best you can do? No oh, no, I can do tons more. And I'm gonna try to do some backflips and stuff. Alright. Roll it. This is lost still while you're still on top of no, she's down already. She had to get down to talk to him. Oh, wow. Cutting your rolls. So, you, 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 um, you backflip and, uh, you slip on a banana pill that was placed there by a clown and uh, you go a little bit far and you face plant like a belly flop. Can I roll a performance to pretend I was all part of the act? Yeah. So how do you pull that off? Um, I make it look, when I slip, I make it look like I was just going for a clown act instead of backflips. Um, kind of roll around afterwards, make it exaggerated, all that stuff. Take a bow when I'm done. He laughs a good bit, you know, he's like, that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. So are are you applying for the for a clown act or are you applying for an acrobatics act? I can pretty, pretty much, much do everything. everything. Can you tame lions? Okay. Uh I could sure try. try. Uh, there there is no trying when you're taming lions. There's either do or don't and don't always has a particularly bad circumstances following well I think the main question here is did I get the job here? he 
he puts he, he grabs a big ball like uh, ones that uh, clowns as well as uh, bears get on top of and roll around get up there and stay up there for a few minutes roll around and if you can do that you'll get the job Yep. Yay. And you stay up there. Rolling around. So Alright, you're hired. You can oh. and uh if you don't mind you can start tonight. Here in about three hours. I will start right away. All right. So, what do you do after this point? You you leave or? Can I do anything after this point? Yes. I thought, I thought you said when we finished our thing. thing. Yeah, just give it a minute. Okay. I'm gonna walk out of the circus and kind of like walk around town a little bit. All right. As John passes out, and you lose control. All right. Chat, do you have any suggestions on our next location? And go ahead and start coming in with the bids, players. Oops, I hope that didn't show. Got bids from a couple people. By the way, you can rebid cotton. You can bid on this one. There's nothing stopping you from bidding on this one. Of course, you can always bid zero. Wow. Oh, whoops. It's been spoiled. My whole plan is ruined. Yep. Yeah, we saw a small number between zero and ten. <laughs> well, I thought this was going to come in down to something else, but uh, it's come uh, off differently. Uh, uh, do we get like does it, if it goes above ten? Does he fall asleep? asleep? Do we get to add one more? Uh, that's a long sleep. Long sleep, probably. Yeah. So, did we all just get another, uh, no. point? No. No, I need like a massive rest. Like, you need sleep for the night, totally. Yeah, or, or, you know, get at least, uh, several hours. Not just, uh, Not just switching people. So, Tice is going to get this one. So, did anybody come up with a suggestion for where we start? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Zircon, we'll take that one. I wanted to play today, but the radiation was in front of you. This will be more radioactive. Mm hmm. Let's see if we can find a decent picture here on Google. They're all like small pictures. Come on, give me. There we go. Weird echo. Alright, maybe that'll fix it right there. Thanks for the heads up, Zarkon. Alright, so... Tice, you wake up, and you are here at the other end of the railroad tracks at what appears to be a nuclear waste disposal facility. It's always with the train tracks. <laughs> Okay, I, uh, I 
I get up and I like look around my surroundings, see what's around. Well, you see uh, several barrels that uh, are labeled with a uh, cautious, you know, do not touch, and has all these labels on it about you know safety measures and everything. There's a few buildings with uh, you know that uh, really kind of plain metal buildings and. Uh, kind of rock face you have the the train tracks that are coming through in several different uh several different tracks coming in and out different directions and there's equipment some vehicles around um there's a actually there's a quite high uh ledge on the uh edge of the building There's a large building at the uh, plant. Okay. We're going to go, like, towards the plant and, like, see if any of the doors are unlocked. They are all unlocked, but uh, there is people inside there. Sickies. Actively working. And half of them are in hazmat suits and others are in just kind of uniforms. Like, how can you, how can you be lost out here? This is out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, how'd you get out of here? I fell asleep and fell off the sky, off the train. Cheapest way of getting around the, the world, around the place for free. <sighs> a hobo, huh? Uh, my name is John. Uh, bring my hand to uh, shake him. He shakes your hand. I start getting a little bit closer. As I like, I start like, does it look like he have a wa like a watch on him or something? Uh, yeah, he does have a watch. I start like, I'm gonna start like, as as I start uh, shake hand, as I start pulling back, I'm just going to sort of like, um, just take that from him. All right, roll it. And uh, you actually get it off of him without him noticing it. All right. So you've shaken his hand. What are you in taking his watch in the process? So what can I help you with around here? Uh, uh, first is, uh, could you explain to me where I am? It's, it, seems a little, it seems like a very dangerous place. It is a very dangerous place, and uh, you need to, like, get out of here. Um, we need to get you a ride or whatever we need to get you to get you out of here, because this is a uh, very dangerous place to stay. How about I arrange a, a ride for you? Okay. So he gets a ride, you know, has uh, somebody pull up in a pickup truck. And uh, the door is unlocked and everything, ready for you to get in for the passenger side. Not his best friend's ride. Do what now? So you uh, get in the before, truck. Before I, um, before I, before I go, I'm going to see if, like, there's, is there any small, like, little warning cans or something? No. All of them are really large. Well, I guess I'll get in the vehicle. 
And as you get in the vehicle, John falls asleep. Alright, I will need some bids from you guys now, and I need a uh, location from chat. Random location. Everybody in? Doesn't work when you suggest them, guys. All right. If everybody's done with the rolls, uh, monkey one. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. Oh, Dash was late on that. That monkey still won. Okay. I don't think we can. I don't think Google has Hinley's bedroom. We'll do, uh... Someone... Oh. Game Insider does. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you really admit it, Jack Jack? Uh... So... Ah, uh, seriously? We, we just have all the swag places. There's no crappy places in here. Damn it, Google. Alright. Here, this ought to be funny right here. No, that, that's not sized good enough. There. Damn it, that's not big enough either. Are none of these big enough? Uh. All right. Does this one work? Yeah, it totally looks like Henley's bedroom. Well, we can't find Henley's bedroom. So, monkey, you wake up and you find yourself <laughs> laying in a bedroom. Four walls, you know, furnishings. Very legit, fancy looking furnishings. And a big bed. Yeah. Alright, there's no door? Yeah, there's a door. Alright, just making sure. Um, I'm gonna open that door. Roll a skill check. <laughs> you, you successfully opened the door. <laughs> What's past the door? You enter into a hallway, and uh, and it looks like I actually it's an apartment complex, and you just went out the front door of the apartment complex. And this was apparently a studio apartment that only had basically a bedroom, but it was a really legit one bedroom. So now you're out in kind of a walkway, a breeze area, outside. Okay. But is there anybody, like, around? Um, you can kind of hear people through, like, other doors, but you don't see anybody around. All right. So. Are there... Okay, I'm going to just open one of the doors. It's locked. Door. No, well, let's let's make a roll for that. Actually, make a roll. D twenty. All, right. All right, here we go. Oh, man, a real a real roll, not a troll <laughs> roll. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you actually find a door that's unlocked. And and you go you look inside, you go inside. Mm -hmm. 
So you you go inside. There's there's nobody in there. They just ironically left their door open, unlocked uh, rather. What's in the room? So inside the room, you see uh, kitchen. It's a kitchen. It's it's more fancy. Um, it's a bigger, more fancy studio apartment that has a kitchen and everything, but it's, you know, it doesn't have all the legit things. It's more uh, basic, primal. But you see, like, um, there's a pilot suit laying on the, the, the uh, bed. You know, just, or actually it's on the floor beside the bed. It was like they just threw their clothes off there and gonna, changed. Uh, I'm going to wear that pilot suit. I'm going to take it and wear it. You're going to take it and wear it? Yeah. Alright, so you um, get that on and everything. And now you look really odd because it's really too big for you kind of loose and falling off of you to a point. Alright. But you've got it on. Okay. I'm going to check the pockets. Uh, you don't find anything in the pockets. Huh? You don't find anything in the pockets. Okay. Uh, are there any, like, drawers or stuff I could check in in the room? Yeah, there's a couple of dressers, there's the uh, kitchen drawers, there's um, a dresser drawers, there's a, a, like a pantry and um, closet doors. I'll look around for anything that's interesting in all the drawers. Alright, so roll me a roll, a search roll. Are you searching for anything in particular? Or just whatever you think you could find that would value you. Yes, things I would enjoy. Oh. oh really? okay. Well, you found a paintbrush with a little bit of paint left on it. It's white paint. And for some reason, it's just it just really really interests you for some reason seems very very interesting well if it's really interesting to me I might as well take it alright so you grab that and uh... what are you going to do now? uh... I'm going to get out of there before they come back alright you get out and run off um, where are you running to? Uh, outside of the apartment complex. So you get out and you run into the woods and then you pass out in the woods. Okay. Alright, I need a uh, bid for willpower. Do right now? Do you regain willpower for completing the objective stuff? I can't remember. No. no like you gain points yeah. for that. That's cool. Uh, did you did you bid this time, Siren? Yeah, I already did. All right. I was checking to see if that was an old one or a new one. Yeah. All right. I need. Everybody except for Monkey to roll a d20. Because hmm. everybody bid three. <laughs> everybody did bid three. I got an 18. I got 11. So Tice is out. Uh, nope. Siren's out. 
Cotton? Can you beat an 18? Huh? You can just have it since I already went. All right. Roll it. You're not likely to roll better than an 18 anyway. That's true. Yep. Mm. All right. Okay, Riga gains control. I got second. Mm. At least I got chicken. Okay. <laughs> All right, Riga. So we need a random location. Anybody's got a random location for us? A new random location. Australia. Australia. <laughs> no, that's a, a bit of a big location. Yeah, it's a, you find yourself like you five miles above <laughs> above Australia. No, five miles above. I begin falling and screaming loudly. <laughs> Megan Chowder. Actually, like, actually, you know, I, I, I got Zircon right there. No. <laughs> Maybe next time. Well, well, metaphorically, your consciousness is falling from the sky into his body, which will make then you wake up. But... We do the video games thing where we zoom in through the back of his head and then I can see through his eyes. Do we know about each other? Uh, no. I think you do know about each other, just vaguely. You do? Yeah. Not, not. I hear voices in my head. You should be getting that reference now. Just, just very vaguely. You, you never talked to each other or anything. So, Riga, you wake up, and you find yourself in a soup kitchen. And there's uh, several people out back of there helping, uh, preparing food, and there's or serving food. They've already finished prepping, and then there's homeless people coming up and getting meals and everything. Okay, I woke up to one of the people serving food. Mm-hmm. You, Underlick, where am I? Excuse me? Where am I? You're in the soup kitchen. This is clear, I asked him. Where am I? I am your lord. Speak to me. They hand you a plate of food. <laughs> and then they walk off. Excuse me, and I throw the plate of food on the ground in front of the homeless people. Very rude. <laughs> you will address me by my proper title and tell me where I am. So, like this, this uh, guy comes up to you. He's like, "Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave." No one tells Lord John the Mighty what to do. Lord, I'm not even going to ask. No one questions just, Lord John the Brilliant. You just keep on changing that, don't you? I am sick of such insolence. Kneel before Lord John, the amazing. We just need Lord John Kneel. to leave the premises. Tell Lord John, the incredible, what to do. Kneel, underling. They they grab your your shoulder gently and and direct you towards the door. Lord John, the incredible. Where do you, are you going to resist them? Yeah. Roll it. All right, so you like slip out of their hand and come on now, don't be difficult. We just need to. We, we're trying to feed the homeless here. We just need to uh, get them fed and everything. And you're kind of interrupting the process. My rightful place, as your lord, as it was meant to be, 
the peasantry will be well kept for. Right. Well, I know actually a really good place for you to um, to uh, lead this peasantry. Think you mean this place? Well, you go out the door right here. You make a left. You go up about three miles, and there's a big building called a city hall, and that is a great place to address the uh, common folks. I appreciate it. And I uh, turn and I march directly to the street looking for any car with a person in it or any car coming down the street. So you, you get outside and you see a parking lot um, vacant of cars with uh, another little side parking lot that has a few cars that have nobody in it, you know, obviously from people who are probably working back there in the kitchen. Um, you don't see or hear any cars or you don't see any cars in action, but you do hear like traffic moving on a road, but it's not within visual range, but it is very close by. Okay, so I notice the traffic. I turn around and head straight back to the people in the kitchen and I say, I require transportation. The only transportation we can offer you is uh, your own two feet. City hall, so I can take my ride from places once. We can uh, arrange some transportation for you if you would like. Do so post haste. My time is important. Not to um, here among the lowly. You will be careful when I am in my rightful place as ruler, as Lord John the Incredible. If you go out those doors and uh, just stand there and wait for about five minutes, we'll have somebody right there. I shall do so. Do not be late. Will do. Okay. I stand there in a very stiff, regal pose, awaiting. About five minutes later... A cop car pulls up, and it shines their lights at you, and then you see them getting out of their car. Greeting, citizen. Hello. Are you this uh, Lord John fellow we've been hearing about? Lord John, the impressive, the humble, the observant, the respectful, the trustworthy, the absolutely brilliant, the fascinating, the fine, the first class, and the dazzling. Right, so you are this Lord John person. So you were wanting to ride, right? Lord John the Incredible. Right, right. Lord John the Incredible. You were wanting to ride, right? Yes, to City Hall to take my rifle place. Right, to just place to right this way. We'll escort you in first class. And they open the back door for you. See, finally I get some respect. I appreciate it. You and your fine chariot shall take me to where I need. And I, step in, and I sit in the back of the car. As they shut the door and drive off. And one of the police are on the radio is like, oh, we've got a crazy one this time. As you pass out. All right, I'm going to need bids by everybody. I can't be waiting two weeks to do that. Cotton, are you bidding? Or okay. never mind, you already did. Uh, Rigor, are you bidding one? Oh, sorry, yeah, I'll get the bid to uh, You don't have to bid, but you can. No, no, I guess, uh, I guess Lord John is doing his bidding. <laughs> Everyone does Lord John's bid. Alright, so Tice, Monkey, and Gamer Siren, I need you to roll. Alright. Everybody's wanting to bid three. Oh, well, I guess I won. <laughs> no troll D20s. <laughs> okay. Oh, we tied. 
<laughs> yep, but uh, Tice, Tice beat you both. So Tice gets control. Only I'm allowed to use it, actually. Yeah, because he, he's the programmer of the tool. Oh, wow, that's who you are. I totally forgot who Monkey Man Boy was, but I think I've been on your stream before. I only streamed like once, ever. Oh, whoops, I'm thinking of another guy that's named Monkey. John oh. Carter. I know you, right? Yeah. Alright, let's see here. So, who won that? I did. Bring it. What? I did not. Nope. Hold up. I, I don't think so. Let me double check. So what? Uh, what, did, what current items does John have? No, no, no it wasn't Riga. It was uh, Tice that won. Yeah, exactly. So I think currently John has a watch, a jumpsuit on. And Maybe. You don't know what he's got on him anymore because he's passed out and he's gone from location to location. You'd have to check to see if he still has those items. Okay. Um, we need a location. Lord John was assured that his uh, clothes were glorious and he would therefore not need to change. Not that it would matter what he's wearing, he's brilliant in his own right. Sorry. The what? I, I think in a lot of like sign heights, uh, um, UFO took him to Japan. I think um, having Putting layers. layers in much on this I think I think we should uh, do pick the place first and then vote because if anyone wins, they any other person just suggests a really highly dangerous place. Yeah. I sit you in the middle of a uh, Middle Eastern war zone, directly on top of an IED. <laughs> We ought to start doing that. We, but everybody starts doing the bids right away. So I do those first. But we, we need to start doing that. We'll do the locations first and then do the bids. Starting next time because we can't do it obviously this time. Yeah, no, we'll just go with what we've established this time. Oh, what am I doing? that well, let me find a picture here that'll work all right let me go down to Tice I really need a third monitor it's seriously cramped All right, Tice. So you wake up and you find yourself at a dirt racetrack. A dirt, you know, like a for dirt racing. Not just an oval track, you know. It's got all kinds of different turns and everything in it. Is Kid John going there? Yes, sir. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I first I check myself to see what what I'm actually wearing and like you check yourself and you're actually wearing um a prison suit with on top of that you have some clothes that are just kind of thrown on just enough to cover it up so that you're not exposed and you can find nothing else on you okay Um, there is currently no one around you. The, uh, dirt track seems, uh, not abandoned, but, like, closed. Like, it's, uh, off time. It's not time they start up. There's, there's nobody out there. You see several buildings, you know, small little buildings, like towers, overlooking the track, and 
but there's not really much out there. There's a little pit out there. There's if you look around, you might find something else. I'm gonna be looking around. So roll me a search check. Alright, so you look around for a while and uh, you find a little moped that is all rusted up and there's a chance it could run. You don't know. It's a real piece of crap. It's very questionable to you if it would run. I'm gonna roll, try to start it. Oh, let's do this. This is like taking me handy from a baby. That's a 19. You actually get this thing to start up, and it actually purrs like a kitten. With an occasional backfire. Like an actual kitten, there's one in the motor. Oh god, what did you do? <laughs> No, it, it seems to like run perfectly fine, and then like it's got some like trash or something in the uh, fuel system, and like whenever it gets like a piece of trash in there, it just backfires. You know, then when when it's not got that trash in there, it's just running just perfectly fine. Okay, I'm gonna head over to one of the buildings. On, on the moped. Yeah. All right, roll me a drive check. Uh, I got this, guys. Don't worry. Alright. You, you managed to uh, drive over there. And to the other building. And you see a door on the other building. It's a hard metal door. With a, a metal door handle. It is locked. Ah, uh, damn these doors. Mm. I'm gonna try to uh, to try to like I'll find like a little piece of metal off the off the moped. I'm just gonna try to pick lock it. All right, roll it. I might say it's, I'm slightly ahead in this. And I'll say there's uh, some junk that was on there. You um, fiddle with it for several minutes. You feel like you're almost about to get in, but it doesn't unlock. You feel like you almost had it, but just not quite there. No, like but there is a fence around with a gate and everything, which does seem to be locked with a padlock. From what you can uh, gather is when, before you woke up and came in control, that uh, you were that John had jumped over that fence to get in here. Getting all the rolls. Oh, oh. 
you run and and you're running to to grab a hold of it but you just you just don't grab a hold of it you just like your hands go between the chain link fence and you just play face plant right into it just just face plant right into it But you you don't lose consciousness, conscious. You you almost lose consciousness. You 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 you're very dazed at this point. Dazed, and confused. Yes. Um. Since it seems like this fence is impassable. Impassable fence. Um, I'm going to uh, try a, a really. What I hopefully is a genius idea. I'm going to uh, I'm going to hop back on the moped and I'm going to do a little bit of a revving motion. I'm going to go start speeding towards the metal door, and the last minute, like a moment before it finishes, I'm going to dive off of it. This is a genius move. All right, I'm going to need two rolls on that one. D22. Uh, I want you to succeed the first one greatly and tank the second one. <laughs> He definitely really succeeded the first one. Good job. <laughs> and now the second one. All right. So the mini bike, the uh, not mini bike, the 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 moped zooms forward like it's like a freaking Lamborghini or a ninja or something. It it just plows through that gate and just knocks it like the doors, oh, the gates go flying like twenty feet off, and you dive off just in time to, you know, it was a little bit closer than you wanted it to be, but just in time to get out of the way from getting hurt. Um, I think, I think you thought of the wrong thing. I was aiming at the door. You were aiming at the door of the... Of the metal door to get in there. Oh, you were aiming at the metal door. Yeah. Okay, so same thing except for the door, like, gets knocked off its hinges and falls down on top of uh, what looks to be stairs. It's kind of riding on top of the stairs. I know RPGs and stuff, but I feel like with the emotions, like you dive off the side and fly directly into the wall next to the door. <laughs> well, see, he, he rolled high enough that he, uh, he I actually... He rolled high enough, but I'm just thinking logically. It's like I'm speeding towards the door, I leap off sideways, and just continue forward and hit the wall like next to the door frame. Well, he did keep on falling forward. He just... Stop before you hit the wall. That's right. Yeah. This is funny. I like my picture. Man. And I'll, I'll, I'll like, I'll like, stand it, like, um, go over the door and like, like, see where what this building is inside. You look inside and uh, there's an announcement system in there. There's some paperwork on uh, races and when they'll be, and uh, there's some general um, cleaning equipment. Uh, you want to roll a search? Sure, I'll do that. I do so well. You find a bullhorn and uh, one of the uh, little um, air canister type bullhorns too. The uh, just the horn itself, not the uh, mic. But that's that's all you find. Oh, you mean like an air horn? Yeah, air horn. Air horn and bullhorn. That's right. I like to, yeah, I like to skip his backpack and stuff the air horn into my into it to put it on if there was a backpack. You don't have a backpack, okay. but you do have two okay. layers of clothes. I mean you can you know, stuff it in between the two shirts. Yeah. Or just in one of them. Okay. That's a bullhorn you're taking, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, though. Is there, is there any phones in here? There is no phones in here. Um, I'm going to go like all the way up the stairs. That was all the way upstairs. There was oh, okay. nothing downstairs. It was just a stair leading up. Okay. I guess. 
Astro's triumphant victory of finding of going to the door. We'll run outside and And he'll just like yeah, there's not that much left. He's just gonna attempt the uh, little gate one more time before probably just What do you wanna do to the gate? I'm gonna try climbing. You're not running and jumping this time, you're just climbing? Uh, actually, no, I'm going to run and jump because I have All a right. natural tendency to feel like I want to. Roll it. And you just vault over that like it was some kind of amazing stunt. You just, you know, just come over it like die hard style. Just. You channel code. Yeah, you channel cotton for a second. Yeah, like, for, and I look over and I see, like, in my head, just see, like, these four people with tens. Yes, yeah, so there is imaginary four people over there giving you tens. Except, the except, that, except for the Frenchman, he's holding an eight. And I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I guess I start. And I guess I'll just run off into the distance before falling asleep. You're going to run around and see what you can find? Yeah, I'm running around. I'm kind of finally escaping my domain. Well, you pass out, and um, we're going to need suggestion for another location. I've got to do some updates here on points. I'm getting bids, but I'm not getting suggestion for a location yet. I feel like it's cheating if we suggest a location that we're voting to go to. It's like, I picked the perfect place for me. A little shifty alley. But then again, you would have to fight other people for that. Yep, you would. Yeah, that's true. This is like, I suggest this place. And then I vote eight willpower. <laughs> I definitely would leave John stumped. Yeah. Wow. All right, Siren, Monkey, I need you to roll off. That's probably because you rolled the troll 20 first, so it, like, ruined all your luck. It's solely. Yep, you, you burned out all your luck with the troll 20. Mm -hmm. Siren, can you... Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind that, never mind that. Okay, so, uh... Monkey, you get control. Alright. And, uh... Let me get a location here set up for you. If I can. Seven is still here? Yeah. She's still here. She's just Epic silent. Damn traitor. All right, monkey. So you wake up in the middle of an alley. All right. Is there anyone in this alley besides me? No, but there's people on the outside of the alley walking by. Okay. What do I have on me? You have a uh, prison suit with a uh, a. Uh, Pair of clothes over that. Okay. 
that are clearly too big and a uh, bullhorn stuffed in between your two shirts. Alright. I'm gonna try to mug the people that are passing by. Like any rational person would. Of course. And I'm gonna use the bullhorn to do it. How are you gonna use the bullhorn to do it? I'm gonna threaten them with it. They're gonna think I'm crazy. You're gonna, gonna you're gonna threaten them by talking to it, or you're gonna threaten them by hitting them, threaten to hit them with it. First, okay, I'm gonna blow the uh, bullhorn. Then I'm gonna. It's not one of the blow. Bullhorn. It's it's not an air horn. It's a bullhorn where you talk through it, and it yeah, amplifies yeah, your I'll voice. Scream walla 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 through the bullhorn, <laughs> and then I'll hit them with it. <laughs> so you're going to find the first person you find. Find and so scream that, know? and then and then knock them out. Yep, that's the plan. All right, roll it. Nope, All right, here we go. Hi, it only works for me. It's my power. So you you scream walla walla walla, and like there's like 20 people that just turn around and look at you like, what the hell, man? What the, <laughs> the heck is wrong with you? And and then you take your thing and you knock this person upside the head and they fall out unconscious and everybody's like gasping. Okay, now I stealthily drag them into the alley. Roll a stealth check. I hope you can get a thirty or higher. What? I said I said roll a stealth check because you're going to need a thirty or higher. What? I'm going to need a thirty or higher. Yeah, because everybody's looking at you. You're going to stealthily take something? You when There's like 20 people watching you? Alright, do I roll a d30 then? No, you're going to roll a d20. Okay. Okay. So, as, as everybody's watching you, it's actually surprising. Only like three people actually notice you, you doing this. Stealthing back here, so you stealth across all the other people. Just the only th like three people of them actually notice you pulling this guy back. Okay. But they still see you. All right. They definitely so, notice. First, I'm gonna check the body, see what I can I can take. Yeah. You you um you find a wallet and that's about it. All right. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna open the wallet. Look in it. It's got n like three dollars and driver's license, you know, cards and stuff like that. Okay, what does the driver's license say? Uh, chat. Anybody got a random name? A coupon for Bay Roads. Dad. So it's. The, the driver's license said, Dad, Jeff, Todd. Alright. Dad, Jeff, Todd. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna steal the wallet, and I'm also gonna steal his identity. I'm gonna pretend to be Dad, Jeff, Todd. <laughs> to make it convincing, I write my name on my forehead so everyone knows who I am. It's clear. <laughs> no, I, I take his face. Oh, that looks to Yeah. You're going to do face off? Can I, can I, is there anything around me that I can use to perhaps take his face? Well, you see broken glass off in the, the uh, alleyway. <laughs> okay. This is the so. spiral of the stream. It's going down and down and down. <laughs> and now we plummet a bit here. Okay. No, this is where it picks up because I take the glass, okay? I'm pretty sure that's a little. <laughs> I'm like, yellow guys. I'm knocking him out. As you're doing this, you hear some police sirens approaching your direction. If you kill him first, that would wake him the fuck up. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna prop him up against the wall, and then I'm gonna lay on the ground. And then they'll think he was the guy that did it. Alright. So that's what you're doing? 
Yes. I'm sure it will work. All right. You just wait there for a few minutes? Yep. The one thing they wouldn't expect. As you pass out because you're there for longer than 10 minutes, boring, doing nothing. Oh, dang it. <laughs> All right, we need a new location. And then after that, we need a bid for... Anybody else queuing up with the bid? Siren? Tice? Cotton? Alright, so Siren's got this one. Me. My location? I don't know yet. Anybody have suggestions? That is not in the not in the game. Courthouse. Courthouse. Dogtown. An ice cream parlor. All right, Siren. Yep. You wake up outside against the uh, outside fence of the dog pound. As you see a dog giving you puppy eyes, looking at trying looking at you and licking your face. Okay. Just just barely able to reach your face because your face is right up against the fence. Is there a building nearby? Yes, there's the, the pound. It's just a fenced area. This the, is the actual pound. Yeah, it's a pound. Okay. Um, Alright, so I'm going to... Uh, does the dog have, like, a, a collar or anything on? No, it doesn't. Okay. I'm going to get up and uh, walk towards the building. Alright, you get up and make your way around and you see uh, two front uh, glass doors leading in. Alright, you get get up, you go in and you see uh, a guy over there at the uh, at a desk in there at the front. That was pretty bad, but you see a guy there at the front behind the desk. Oh, what's right. in this room? File cabinets, um, probably tons of paperwork, um, a couch, a um, few lights, um, anything else you'd need to do, roll a search check. Okay. Of course, uh, if you're rolling a search check, keep in mind that you're rolling it in front of this guy that's st sitting right there. Well, yeah, but you know, it's just Browsing around. You're going to just search with your eyes. Right. Okay. So, pretty much I'm searching for are there any, like, uh, like, walking chains? Uh, are there collars? Are there name tags? Anything like that? Alright, roll it. I need to get kinky on this immediately. Nope, you don't see any of that. None of it. Okay. Is there a door behind him into the rest of the pound? Yes, there is. The guy looks at you. Can I help you? Yes. Um, I actually just...
just saw in the newspaper that you guys were looking for some help. And I've come here to apply. We had no ads out in the newspaper. Oh, I swear to you, and I give them the ad. It's right here, and like I put it away real quick. I I just really need some work. I'm looking for, you know, it doesn't even matter if it happens to be volunteer. Make me a roll. You actually just managed to pull out a newspaper from the middle of nowhere. It just magically appears somehow into your hand. And Looney Tunes that shit. Yeah, you, you totally Looney Tunes that. Well, and he's like, well, that's, that's, that's odd. And, it, and actually on this newspaper, it actually did say that they were actually looking for people. Spelled out. And it, at the date of the newspaper actually matched up with the date, but... For some reason, they had no idea that they were actually looking for help. I didn't know we needed help. So, yeah, I'm here, uh, you know, I'm here for the job. Uh, uh, even if it's something as simple as, like, you know, washing the animals or whatever, I'm good for that. Yeah, I, I don't, that's, that's not one of my favorite parts of the job. We could probably, we could probably do that. We could probably let you wash some animals. Sounds good, sounds good. So when would you like to start? I'm available right now. I've got nothing to do. Kind of prefer to have a background check, but I guess since you're just washing the animals, it should be fine. Yeah, of course. So, uh, he takes you back into the back and uh, shows you where all the washing, um, the hoses, the uh, washing powders, all that stuff is at. He, he kind of gives you a weird look, and uh, he's like, yeah, uh, sure. Right. I wink at him. <laughs> he, he, he's, he's already turned around. He doesn't even see the wink. He doesn't even see the wink. And he walks off. All right. So you All go, right. and what do you so start doing? What's that? What do you do now? Uh, so what's in this area that I'm at? It's a... Uh, Generally, just a room, you know, with concrete around it, and uh, you know, just a hose pipe, and you know, there's like a container with uh, different material, uh, different uh, cleansing materials and whatnot above you. Okay. Um. Do they have any? Uh, do they have like ropes or something to to hold up the animals so they don't run away? Uh, no. Maybe. Okay. So they just kind of throw them in there and wash them up? Well, it's got a door on it, so they can't actually leave the room. And the room's only, like, uh, like four by four. Okay. So there's not really a escape. They don't have any walking chains for these guys or anything like that? No. Not that you can see. Not in that I'm room, anyway. search to see if there is in the room next to me, because I have to go and get the animals. All right, roll me a roll. Eighteen. And you pass out. Okay. All right. Now we need a new location. Still a dog. Still a dog. <laughs> uh, uh, so we need uh, a new location. Anybody's got a suggestion for a new location? Over there. Shroom has all wheel drive. <laughs> Over there sounds like a great suggestion. Wonder if you actually Google that what you get. No suggestions. Uh, let's let's do uh, 
dog versus soap compact. Yeah, that would have been that would have been interesting. Alright, so the location is going to be a laundromat. Has it ever done bidding? Give you another minute. Anybody else wants to bid? Yeah, my that bids my current bid. I accidentally left the chat room. Last place in Blockbuster Video. Alright, I'm going to need Siren, uh, Cottontail, and Riga to roll. Have a roll of it. Oh, and Cotton with that roll. <laughs> Yeah, there's no, there's no real point in the game. Yeah. Alright, so Cotton, you wake up in a laundromat, sleeping on the bench. Is anybody in the laundromat? Uh, the lights are on, but, uh, nobody's around. It seems like it's night time. Is there any clothes in the dryer? Uh, you can search for that. You find, um, some clothes, um, they look rather small, like, they belong to a little kid. I don't think you can fit inside of them. What do I have on me? You have... a dog collar wrapped around your neck with um... with a dog catcher outfit on. Hi, hi. And you have a net. I have a net. Yes. It's uh, r laying right beside you. Uh, right beside the bench that you were sleeping on. Okay, I'm going to grab the net and walk out the laundromat. And I'm going to see if it's the same time that the circus was in. Uh, roll a perception. It seems like it's the same city, but you really can't tell. It seems all weird and different. What do I see outside of the London map? Uh, you see a Starbucks right across the street. Those places are everywhere. Is it open? Uh, it is not open. I'm going to go look for a bar. All right, so you're just going to walk down the street until you find it, or are you going to just walk down the street for a few minutes and then stop if you don't find one? Yeah, I'm going to walk down and see if I, if I don't find one, I'll stop. All right, roll me a uh, search check. You walk down for about seven minutes, and you don't find one. But you didn't make it very far either. What's around me now? There is a, um, there's a 24 hour donut stop. Are there people inside? Yes, there are people inside. And the uh, parking lot is full of police cars. 
I'm gonna go in. Go into the donut shop. Alright. And after you get in there? I'm gonna look around for a group of people. You find, you see several groups of tables that all have like cops all the way around it. You don't see anybody in this store that is not a cop besides the employees. I'm gonna go up to the counter. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna say, hey guys, you wanna see something cool? And I'm gonna start like juggling my net. All right, roll me a uh, check on that. Lowercase r. So you throw it up and it it hits the ceiling and then it falls back down. And uh like, all the cops are, like, turning around and looking at you. I'm going to pretend like it was a joke. And then I didn't mess that up with the performance again. All right, roll that. All right, so how, how do you fell this? Uh, I go to... Pretend it was a joke and catch it again, and it falls on the floor. Makes a really loud noise. And it catches me off guard. I'm just kind of standing there now. You're startled? Yeah. So at this time, a couple of police stand up and start walking towards you. And they ask you, What are you doing in here? I was trying to juggle, but I, uh, Guess I'm a little tired. This is not the proper place nor the time to juggle anything. Well, I thought you guys could use a little break from work, you know? Police have a, such a hard job. Have you been drinking tonight? No. Been doing any. No, any. Um. Kush? No, I was just trying to show you guys a trick. I'm a performer, you see. I'm going to gesture to my uh, dog catcher uniform. You're a performer? What, what are you performing in? Well, I was a part of a circus. You were a part of a circus? Mm -hmm. So what's circus folk doing around here? The circus left town like a week ago. Then why are you in here juggling instead of going to catch up? You want me just to run like the whole way there? You know, I gotta have a break too sometimes. I'm just gonna come in here, have a donut, do a little juggling, get back on my way. Well, don't uh, don't juggle in here. Just uh, um, have your donuts and, and leave. I'm going to grab my net and leave. Kind of embarrassed. So you get your net up, right? And uh, now you're standing there at the counter. You have no clue if you are if you got any money on you or not. And uh, you're expected to get a donut at this point, I would presume. I'm just gonna like feel my pockets and see if I have any money. Roll me. So you you find um about a buck thirty nine where the change in there. It's all changed. There's no bill. And there's not even a dollar bill in there. It's all changed quarters. There's only one quarter too. It's mostly nickels, dimes, and pennies. How much is a donut? They they point to the menu up 
uh, behind you, behind them, and uh, you see all different kinds of prices. But you see uh, on the cheap side, there's a few donuts that are you know 99 cents. I'm but on the high side, you see some that are like five dollars. Cheapest donut. I'm buying that one. All right, so you're buying a uh, basic glazed donut. Yep. All right, they take your money and uh, give you a glazed do donut. I'm going to leave the donut shop. All right. And my uh, alarm's going off. All right, so you get outside, and 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 do you look behind you at all when you get out? Uh, or, sure. As you look behind you, you can see that uh, cops are you know generally looking at you you know covertly, not too obviously, but they're definitely looking at you. I'm gonna like start walking down the street and then since I get to like an alley I'm gonna like turn and duck down it. Alright. You get down that alley and uh... as you go down the alley you you run um, across to the other side of the uh... the other road on the other side and there you spot just a few random businesses. They all look closed. I'll just keep walking down the street, eating my donut. All right. As you finish your donut, you see a couple people walking down the street up ahead of you. And they're they're walking away from you. You know they're not, you know, like running away from you or anything. They're just walking in a direction, and you just kind of walked up behind them as they were walking. I'm going to run up in front of them and stop. All right. They are really startled, and uh, they're kind of looking at you funny and precautiously. Do I have a hat? Yes, you do have a hat. It's your, your, hat. You're going to no, keep your hat. Do a Roll it. So you, you managed to do this great backflip that just amazes them. I'm going to hold my hat up. And roll that. Oh, do you? Hmm. Monkey, we don't need to. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Monkey, we don't need to change that. Um. So yeah, you just. Uh, how, how do you want to fell this? You tipping your hat? Do you like just uh, tip your hat and just keep on tipping it until you fall over into your face? Or? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you you tip over, you fall down on your face, and uh, they actually laugh at that. All right, um, I'm gonna set my hat down, and I'm gonna try to juggle again. What are you going to try to juggle? Anything I've got on me besides my hat. Only thing you've got on you beside their hat is the uh, your clothes and that dog collar that's around your neck. Um, and some do coins, thirty nine cents. Do they have anything? Actually, it's not even thirty nine cents. It's just a uh, like twenty. 
Do they have any like hats on anything? Do they have hats on? No, they don't have any hats on. I'm gonna take off my shoes and juggle them. All right. As you take off your shoes, make me a roll. Yeah, you're you have not taken off your shoes, changed your socks, or anything in a long time, <laughs> and they are really, really stink. And you get a whiff of this, and you just pass out. Okay. <laughs> All right, we need a new location. Anybody with a new location? Bank? Any other ideas? <laughs> right in the middle of you. <laughs> I agree. You're in a fight night. Anybody else going to queue in with a uh, bid? All right, Riga, Siren, I need you to roll off. Was robbed right there. You robbed her. Yeah, yeah I feel really sorry for that. Jesus. That's yeah. unfair. Alright, so Riga, you gain control and you wake up and you're over here in the corner of a boxing ring. And there's a guy over here, you know, with his boxing gloves, you know, ready to knock your ass out. Okay. And uh, is the fight on, or are we in like a corner break? You're in a corner break. Seems like this is the second round, and your face is hurting a little bit. Okay, I stand up and I walk to the center of the ring, ignoring my trainers, and I motion for the ref to come over. The ref comes over into the ring. I say, these people are all here for me, correct? They're all here for the fight. Could I speak to them, please? I have something to say before you continue. Sure, and he hands you the mic. I say, hello, loyal followers. I feel so proud to be standing before you as someone you admire. And as such, I would like to take this moment in view of everyone to lead us in a chant for me. And I, put, and I stop pumping my fists. Lord John, Lord John, Lord John, Lord John. And, uh, yeah. Make a roll. Sure. So they, they all pretty much look at you weirdly. A few of them, you know, kind of say it for a minute and then they stop. They just say, Lord John, nothing else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they, you know, stop after saying it about twice. Okay. And they kind of go silent after that. Clearly, clearly you are uh, 
not prepared to admit how great I am. So perhaps I shall demonstrate, and then I take a position to fight. You take a position what? To, f to continue to fight. All right. So you go back to the corner? Yeah, go back to the corner. Um, All right. And uh, they ring the bell. All right. And the the guy starts coming in, you know, doing his uh, box of moves, you know, moving his feet and everything. nothing but dodge. I tend to weigh him down by dodging. All right, roll me a dodge. So, um, you manage to dodge about two or three hits, and, like, the other, like, 17 just pound you in the face and in the gut, and you're, you're really struggling to breathe at this point, and your eyes are tearing up, and, uh, swelling is becoming in your face. And the bell rings, and you go back to your corner. Okay. I groggily walk and do the same motion for the microphone. So the ref comes over and looks at you. I say, trust me on this one. This is the last time. And he hands you the microphone. Subjects! Do you see what I put myself through for you? I, Lord John the Brilliant, will put myself on the line for you, the people. And I will continue to do so and take my rightful place at the top if I just have your support. With me, Lord John. And I start the chant one more time. As you hear one guy, you know, out of the corner, you shout out. Brilliant. Yeah. Yep. You, you're, you're certainly brilliant at getting your butt beat. No one can take that, <laughs> John. I am still standing. And I continue to chant, trying to lead the crowd, ignoring the, the one-offs. At, at this time, like, they, they start booing you and everything, and uh, really kind of, like, you know, like, mad at you, and... Yeah. They're, they're half tempted to throw stuff at you? Probably. I stand there like a sad fool, continuing the chant until I assume the bell goes off again. Make me another roll. Sure. Uh, Alright, so at this point... You finally kind of like get them to kind of silence out and stop their um, hate on you. Yeah. They're 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 not exactly liking you at the moment, but they're they're open to listening to you at the moment. And I say, okay, it is clear to me in my magnificence that you are yet to be convinced. However, all I need is the support of the people. If you may not chant my name, then at least show your support with a cheer as I head in to prove to you that I will never go down. I will take my place at the top. Can I hear a cheer, please? And I do the, um, I do the, the, um, what do you call it? The, uh, like the pose with the, with the mic held up. I do like the one arm shot to the air with the mic. The Freddie Mercury. All right. Make me a roll on that pose. Sure. Roll for pose. Yeah, you just got to see how persuasive you are with this yeah. pose. <laughs> and all of a sudden, just they all just scream out and just start cheering you. It's like, go get him, John! Go beat his ass! <laughs> Lord John! Do it! Oh, God. And I stand there in a moment of glory before taking my spot to fight. All right, so... My loyal followers at my back, I head into fight. 
All right, so then they ring the bell. And what is your strategy this time going into the fight? Um, uh, hmm. I attempt to wait for, to pick my spot for one good strike. I attempt to wait for an opening. Are you going to attempt to dodge until that opening? I'm attempting to dodge until I have the opportunity for one good strike. All right, roll it. This could be really good or really bad right here. Yeah. All right, so you're you're sitting there taking punches left and right, and uh, you get knocked down, and yeah. you manage to get up, and you come back in, and uh, they keep on punching you like a punch back. And eventually you get this one shot in, but your timing was wrong, and you definitely made contact and hit him. Did some damage, but it wasn't it wasn't a great shot. It was just a little bit better than the 16 hits he's hit you with. It was a punch. Yeah. And uh, the bell rings, and they send you back to the corner. Okay. And, uh... As you get over to the corner, you start feeling lightheaded, and you fall out and faint. Yeah, probably face first into the turnbuckle. Yes, you, you face first into the turnbuckle. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. And we need a new location. Apple Tower. I like that. I like that we just we finally decided on a on a, on a city in France, a country in France. Despite the fact everyone is speaking English, this <laughs> I like the idea that one of the other personalities walks down the street and there's like posters with your face on it for a fight, that are like being taken down. <laughs> Entice puts in the one that will get us all shot. Can't remember the white house. Well, like, are, are you guys all reading each other's minds or something? Oh, uh, we've got a few books. Um, yeah. I swear you guys, like, the almost always all choose the same bid. Siren, well, are you going to make a bid on this one? Unless people are super serious, people usually cap at three because it's, you can get, if, like, if you put in three, it's like I can, that's like I, I want to be in the scene, but you can, you get three out of it plus you have a four if you really need it. Like it's like a, you know, it's just like a three. Hmm. I didn't. But I'm just saying that's the math of it, is that like it would get you like three scenes that you really want, and the other four was back up. Alright, so uh, Siren gets this one. Let me find a <laughs> good picture here. It was, it was Siren's suggestion, then uh, this could be interesting. Yeah, I think it was Siren's suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not even gonna say that. Oh, uh, uh, see, I had this dream paused, and I was opening it, hoping, hoping to be in, be in mid search for that last suggestion. Right. Um, there's no good pictures of this. Go with that one. So, Siren, you wake up and you are in a mini on a mini bike. Ah, uh, mini bike. What is it with me and mini bikes today? You're on a mini golf course 
And looking above your head, you see the Eiffel Tower right behind you, above you, because you're laying down. We're probably about to take a break, Zircon. Right after this turn. Are there any mini bikes around me? <laughs> no, but you actually see a uh, a uh, ninja, Kawasaki ninja. Very nice. Oh, okay. very nice. Does it belong to anybody? Is there anybody standing? Here? I, I would assume so, but it doesn't have like belongs to Tom written on it. Right. But is there anybody standing near it? No, there is not. Are the, the keys, keys on it? No, there are no keys on it, as far as you can tell. You this can. Is for the keys. All right, roll it. Well, you're around friends, so if you just ask the owner for the keys, he'll probably just surrender them to you. Probably. But she's not in France, as far as she can tell. I'm under the Eiffel Tower. I should be in France. No, it's a mini golf Alpha Tower. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you look at the picture on the stream. Yeah. So you you didn't find any keys, but you did find uh, a few other random stuff that is uh, probably no importance, no importance that I can see. Yes, it is uh, like um, about 15 feet from you. Okay, I'm going to walk in there. Alright, you walk in and there's a, a guy at the counter. Okay. Um, excuse me, sir. I got a question for you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Do you know who that bike belongs to out there? That's my bike. Oh, that's amazing. You you like it. I, I just got it. I, I really love it. it. Yeah, I just got it. T yesterday. Is there any way that I could... That you could possibly give me a ride on it? It's always been like one of my dreams. Not right now, because I'm stuck here at work. Really? Well, do you think you could let me ride it? I'll just keep it in the parking lot. I can't do that. I'm going to use my persuasion skill. Alright. So am I rolling for it? Yeah. No. No. No, no, no. I, 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 I just can't do it. I just got it. I mean, if anything happened to that, I, I wouldn't know what to do. When, uh, when are you going on lunch? Uh... I think it's about two hours from now. Oh, that's a long time. That's a long time. Um, too long. Way too yeah, long. That's, that's a really long time. <sighs> they really should let you have more breaks. Yeah, they're, they're a bit slave drivers around here. You, you, know, you know those kind of people. Well, where'd you get it? Where'd I get what? Where'd you get your bike? Uh, I got it actually, uh, found it by a guy that was, um, worked for a dealership, but, like, the dealership was liquid liquidating assets, and, uh, the bike happened to be on there because it was, a. Uh, it slight hell damage, and he picked it up really cheap, and then resold it. You know, the very next day. Cool, cool. All 
right. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you for your time. No problem. Do you want to uh, play mini golf or? I reached my pocket. Uh, what's in my pocket? Uh, roll the search. Um, you find some pocket lint. And, and your actually hand kind of gets stuck coming out a little bit. Like your pants, like your pockets are too small. Mm. No, uh, thank you for the, thank you for the, the invitation, but uh, I gotta go. I'm, uh, I'm trying to meet somebody up here. Alright then, see you later. Thank you. Um, so I go back outside. Uh, is there anything that I could use to, like, start that bike? Roll it. Roll the search. You can't find anything besides maybe, like, a hammer or something, which... Would you beat the lock lock off? Right. Um, but okay, no guaranteed so of success at that. I decided to take a leap of faith and jump into the closest, uh, like, shallow body of water that's in the, the pool area. Like in the, you know how, like... You're talking about, like, one of the pools on the course? Yeah. All right. So you dive in, you you make a splash everywhere, and everybody's looking at you weird. Yeah, help me, help me, I'm drowning, I'm drowning! Somebody, Somebody get some help! help. Don't worry about it, help Exactly what they just said. <laughs> I was cheating. They can make him deeper than that. No, I mean, literally, it is one foot of water. <laughs> mm. And people are saying that. You can, but... The Usually he has to be not unconscious anyway. Or laying down at least. Maybe he had a massive spinal accident and she can't stand up. Well she's she's kinda of sitting down in the water. In the one foot of water. This thing just got a little more ridiculous. Does so the guy come out from behind the counter to help me? Do what right now? Does the guy come out from behind the counter to help me? Since no, he does not. He doesn't? No. Alright, does somebody help me? No, they just they several people look at you strange and keep on playing the mini golf. Looking at you strange every once in a while. Are there any golf balls in there? Yes, there is five golf balls in there. I start chucking golf balls. Where are you chucking them at? Chucking them at the people, chucking them at the, the uh, checkout area. Are you attempting to hit with these? If you are, make me a roll. If you're not, then... I'm trying to hit, uh, with, when I'm aiming them at the building, I am attempting to aim at the building to hit the building. But nothing else? Uh, just the people, I'm just trying to scare them away. Alright. So you hit the building and it ricochets back and nearly hits some guy. It just switched right by his head. But he doesn't seem to notice. But like the person beside him is like, you know, like looking wide eyed. Like what the heck? in the bottom of this pool? Uh, trash. What kind of trash? Uh, plastic cups, couple plates, paper plates, that are deteriorated into basically nothing. But they're, they're just kind of there, gently lay, laying on the ground. If you try to pick them up, it'd just fall right through your hand. 
and uh, there's a popsicle stick in there and uh, grass, grass shavings. Um, I'm gonna grab the popsicle stick. Mhm. Mm and then I'm gonna climb out of the water and head over to the bike, put the popsicle stick inside of the keyhole, and hammer the popsicle stick in the keyhole. All right, roll it. This ought to be interesting. Yeah, this is the best way. Twenty-eight. You you just hit the 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 uh, popsicle stick just hard enough that it just perfectly like molds into a key. I start the bike and I get on it. And the the motorbike starts up and uh, with a loud vroom and uh, the guy you 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 start to see the guy in the uh, the concession booth run out. Towards you. Alright, I take off with the bike. Alright. Uh, roll me a drive track. And by the way, you are in a fenced in area of the mini bike course. There is a gate, and it's not locked, but it's not open either. I try to drive the bike. Try to drive the bike to the gate. Well, the gate's not open. You, you managed to drive the bike. It's a fenced in gate. I mean, if you try to put a bike or whatever through a fenced in gate, the gate's gonna give. Uh, so you're gonna to try to power through it? Right. Oh, you don't find something slow to jump, jump the fence on the ninja? Mm, make me a second roll. Come on. Hey, that's you, you power through the fence. The, the lock snaps and you just power through it, doing a willy, out into the parking lot. That keeps taking off. Alright, where are you heading to now? Um, heading east. Are you looking for anything in particular? Um, looking for a jewelry shop. Looking for a jewelry shop? Yeah. So you're driving around for about 10 minutes looking around for a jewelry shop. As you just all of a sudden fall asleep. Okay. On a speeding bike. Yes, on a speeding mini bike. On a speeding mini bike, you fall asleep. Wait, that was a ninja, wasn't it? So yeah. Pretty. Yeah, but I keep on saying mini bike. Ignore me. Like, I'm used to Seven Days to Die, where you always drive around a mini bike. I play that game too much. All right, so um, we need a suggestion for a new location. Swamp. Maybe. Hospital. Yeah, hospital sounds fitting. Let's do a hospital. Monkey, uh, Siren, you gonna bid? Oh, sorry, I'm gonna bid. All right, Monkey, Tice, and Cotton, make me a roll off. So, Tice gets us. Does Tice have enough points still? I said. Yeah, he does. 
So that would be just a small thing, just be like, I right, spend these points, and you're like, okay, you win. Oh, you don't have those points. Yep. I think, yeah, I think you can track. I have been too, although not as good as I should be. Um, so you wake up and uh, you find yourself um, in a hospital. Surprisingly, you're not in a hospital bed, but rather you're in your own clothes, as, as far as you can think of, as far as you know, and you're... Um, and you're um, approaching the, uh, actually, hold up. Before we actually start this, let's take a break. We need a break. Sure. And thank you for the follow, Cotton. I forgot that we were going to take a break after that. Yeah. Also, I forget, how long are we playing till? Uh, just basically whenever we finish. It won't be... Uh, Oops, I don't know why I'm doing that. But we all hit zero power, which probably went too long. Yeah. Depending how long the scene's good. But then again, this ain't a scene, it's an arms race. Mm -hmm. It's an arms race. Uh, broken nice arms race? We having a broken oh, yeah. arms race at the hospital? No, it's a follow-up voice song. <laughs> I'm going to try to catch up on stuff over here so if I can get uh, some of these points straightened out. Yep, you do have a good bit of points. Chair Million. Okay. It's what's behind the actual alert. Yeah. Oh, the like timer it. derped out. I'm dual, I'm dual role playing. <laughs> dual role playing? Yeah, because one of my friends from a different RPG is like trying to talk to me because we're doing, uh, we're, it's uh, Game of Thrones. Hmm. <laughs> uh, my, we all, each and one of us has built a house. I am, I am my character, my main character, Lord, his name is Lord Drax, this is Star Hunter. The house of Star Hunter. His quote, his motto is, the book outlives the hero. Hmm. The book outlives the hero. The book outlives the hero. Well, the winners of the winners always determine what's in the book. Yeah, he's just, he's a very persuasive man. I had put a lot of points in charm and stuff. Also, uh, technically, hopefully, he never goes into combat because I took like a, there's this thing that's like um, fragile or something. Like it's for only characters that are, like in their like male ages or older, and mm -hmm. you can't fight, but you get like a plus one to your knowledges and your persuasions or something. Uh, so you're more of a negotiator. Yeah, and then he has a daughter. He isn't a bit of a pickle though, because he has a he has a, he only has a daughter. He doesn't have a son. So he has to marry his daughter off to someone that's of a lower status. But enough that he can that she can have enough influence but when he passes on that how Star Hunter survives. 
and also his daughter is um, an extreme medical hero. Is a, is, she's very amazing in medicine. Uh, she saved someone from the strings of poison. Which is a very deadly disease, or poison. It's the one that killed Joffrey. I mean... Oh no, I spoiled. <laughs> Spoilers! It's almost like when you um, go when you t when you get uh, one of your friends to watch uh, a show you like, and you you ask them what your favorite character is, and they mention someone that dies, and you just like try not to give them that look. Yeah, you know, like one of my friends is like he's like yeah, my favorite character character is Ned Stark's. I was like, I grabbed an item. I don't remember doing that. In truth, I've never, I think I've seen 10 episodes out of all the seasons. So my, my fiance watched, binge watched that whole season, all the series. I was like, man. But Game of Thrones. Yeah, it's not my, my, uh, like, yeah, like, like cup of tea. Episodes, yeah, a few episodes I watched, I'm not going to say anything, but I was like, oh, I called that, like, the way that they, like, they put, they, like, push so many stereotypes in that. Alright, so is everybody back? Oh, no, the bomb is armed. The bomb is armed. Spawn it using the hook console? I have no idea how to even do that. Alright. Whose turn was it again? Not me. Alright. So you wake up in the, uh, the, uh, hospital. You know, in your regular clothes. You, you pretty much, uh, kind of like just checked out from what it seems. Of the hospital, just after you've gotten healed. From uh, a horrible, horrible mid, uh, bike accident. And now you have this uh, one scar, the shape of a handlebar, on the side of your uh, your neck. Uh, you're, uh, yeah, you, you just exited out of the, uh, the clinic, and you're now in the waiting room. You've already gone past billing and everything. You're just exiting out into the waiting room. Besides my clothes, do I have anything else on me? Um, you find a cigarette lighter and, uh, ten dollars. You're talking to the uh, woman up there yeah, at the, the desk? Yeah. Yes, sir? Um, uh, do, I have all, do I have all my belongings? Yes, sir. You, you have uh, everything that you came in with. Um, what did I come in for? I seem to have gotten a little bit of a shock to the head. Oh, you were in a really bad... Uh, bike accident and uh I, I i hear that uh they they got there was a guy that was uh just kind of standing out in front of you and uh he uh ran out in front of you and 
he got ran over, but in the process, like it caused the mini bike to flip over and and uh, the mini bike fell on top of you. Yeah, I'm guessing the work mini bike is in working condition anymore. No, the the bike is not in working condition. Me with the mini bike again. <laughs> the the bike is not in working conditions anymore. Did they take it somewhere? Were they able to go get it? No, I think they took it to a junkyard. Uh, I seem to. Do you know of any uh, good coffee place or something nearby? I seem to be maybe need something to calm down and think. Move a little, write it down for me. She writes you down a place. Um, as she's, as she's like, um, uh, as she's like, right, looking down, writing down, I'm just going to, like, quickly examine, uh, her desk, I'm going to, like, just, like, pick something up to put in my pocket. Something that looks, looks like a value. Uh, only thing you find is some ink pens that are really generic looking, and a clipboard. Uh, I'm going to snatch, try to attempt to snatch it quickly. Or it's like stuffed in my shirt. Alright, uh Alright, you managed to uh get that. Take it with you. And then and then I take the piece of paper that with the coffee shop. And then I like as I like like, like, look out, like, walk, I'll just walk out the door for a moment and, like, read what the, what, what, what the, what the clipboard says. You're reading the clipboard? Yeah. After, after, after I leave, like, go out the door, front door. Well, it's, uh, just got, uh, you know, names and, uh, um, 